is up guys, Boulder here, welcome back some more Fire Emblem 3 House. We began our journey last time, we're still at the save screen from after that prologue fight, and we're probably going to be cycling saves, so let's save and get it going. Uh, online... There was voice. Online Captain statistics. Jones, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Most deployed. That's a cool thing to see. Like, what people's most favorites are? That opens up a lot of, like, hey, let's try and find the online's least deployed person and, like, solo run the game with them. <laughs> Just wild shit that you can do by looking at online stats. Oh, that's it's gonna be fun. It'll be real fun. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, Alois. Okay, I guessed Aloy. I was wrong. This is why voice acting names is great. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Dude, your pauldron is massive. I like it. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? He's a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. That is correct. I was like, yeah, he's he's dead, right? Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I was like, yeah, we we definitely don't look alike. What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. <laughs> I was about to say. It seems your presence is required. Get going. Okay, so Sothis is gonna pop in and out. I mean, she's like in our mind or whatever, so I guess that makes sense. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Oh, another thing I wanted to, so there's a log button. I wanted to look how it was structured. Oh, and you can replay the voice line. Oh, I love that. I love that. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Gerald, the blade breaker? Blade breaker. Our dad's a badass. Former captain of the Knights of Saros oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? What? Uh, I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. <laughs> Jesus, Personally, these as three. the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive Tell him again. 
I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Oh, the, the like, passive-aggressive bickering and... Well, passive-aggressive... Passive-aggression and actual aggression, like... Already great. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well, Oh, so we, okay, the pick actually comes really, really early. Okay, that's cool. Uh, well, uh, I was like, there's not a name associated with these. I believe Fargus is, okay, Edestrian, Fargus, this is what we want. Yes. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. I was like, you guys chose the Golden Deer, so. We got it locked in, it seems. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Edgar, Dimitri, Klaw. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. And she's a refined young woman, but I feel as though she's always evaluating me. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... I love that Sothis, I already talk about sleep all the time. She's voiced by Cassandra Lee Morris, who is Morgana in Persona 5. Okay, so that was an interesting save point. White Part clouds, nine. great tree White moon. White clouds, great tree moon. Three houses. All right, forgive me for talking over you. Shit. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new as they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough.
There it is. Garrick Mark Monastery. The flow of time bring you here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. Okay. To be forced to see her now. Uh... I like that little intro scene of the this monastery. It was like the campus. It was essentially school. Uh, and the <laughs> the little scene showing I don't remember her name uh, the one female teacher and the the flustered student is great. Uh, you've been here before. I've never spoken of this to you before, but many years ago I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Uh, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Okay. Also, Rhea... That was the, the intro cutscene, Lady Rhea. The badass. <laughs> right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Uh, why is the other one dot dot dot? A fine All right. name indeed. I was like, I. <laughs> she seems neat. There's something ominous going on, but like. Why From not? the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Okay, okay. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. Yeah, you were, you were really forced and they really twisted your arm. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? As a mercenary? As a servant? <laughs> as a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. 
And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome like, you are. Manuela, that's... that's her. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. Hanneman. I really like Hanneman's design. Just I love his mustache. I don't know. He just I seems am neat. Hanneman, a crest scholar and professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Okay. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefranc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. <laughs> oh, okay. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> it's like, there's some weird shits here, so, uh... Have fun! Have no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Beric Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Interest. There was a fire, and our dad went missing, abandoned or whatever afterwards. 
Mm. They also mentioned uh, Shamir, who I'm excited for. His character that they showed toward the end of like their character reveals that they were doing. That uh, I'm I'm really excited for her. See what she's all about, and recruiting her, of course. I love that. While well, exploring the monastery, right stick to move camera, plus and minus button, zoom in and out. Oh, maybe that would have done it in the map when I was trying to figure that out for prologue. B and Y buttons hold the dash. Okay, if you're ever unsure what to do next, look to the left side of the screen. Your current objectives will be displayed there. Got it. Your first task. Oh, God, this is so strange. I know we got to move around like this in, uh... Shadows of Valencia. I mean, Gaiden, of course, technically. But, like, it wasn't 3D. It's, it's so I weird. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy. Correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. Okay, view quest. May I ask a favor so we you? have our quest log. Uh, we get an iron sword, vulnerary, and money. Okay, cool. So speak with the three house leaders, gather information about the students in each house. The student can be found in the reception hall. Uh, students can be found in the reception hall. Okay, so let's go speak to everyone, I guess. Oh, uh, quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who, uh, those who can give or are involved with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quests you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. Icons for essential quests are red. Okay. Uh, real quick. Menu, so goals, roster, inventory, support, quests, storehouse, save guide, options, calendar. Uh, wherever journal is is how we'll find our DLC costume. Be sure to greet everyone. Oh. Imagine you were surprised. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. It's like, I guess he has a point. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, zoom in. Uh, oh, R is map. Okay, zoom in on the map. No. 
Okay, first floor. What is out here? So yeah, this is where things... I don't really know how I'm gonna structure episodes that have heavy amounts of walking around the castle. Probably be some cuts here and there, but like, I definitely want to explore and showcase everything there is to offer. Let's see, first floor. Great Tree Moon. Is that like our month or whatever? First floor, how to... Oh, there we go. Okay. So we actually have to press A on the arrow on the floor. When you map, the new map in the upper right corner of the screen shows your current location, locations of important people, the directions to quest givers, and more. Zoom or change the map view with... Z oh, ZR. Okay. So is it the same here? No. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. That's cool. Oh, sup. Uh, the song sure is Dorothy in my class. Is that a tattoo on Petra's face? Mercedes seems a bit eccentric. Okay, gossip. I like it. A reception hall. There's a cat! Important. Cat. We can't pet the cat, but cat. Oh. Uh, Leonard always seems laid back. Lawrence is a true noble. Ash is the best. Totally unpretentious. Uh, okay. But he looks crazy, so... Pity. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes. Uh, oh, and this is where we can ask about everyone. Okay. I mean, might as well. We're not joining them, but, you know. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> Actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Okay. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. Okay. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. I thought his defining ability was catnip and not catnap. That's what I read it as, like, uh, okay. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Okay, Kaspar. He's the second son of Count Berglis. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Okay. Growths and stuff for these characters. Uh, if we recruit any of them she's to our Count house, Varley's we'll go over them. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric. But she seems like a gentle soul. We'll go over growths and like really take a look at their crest abilities and whatnot uh, at that time. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Don't like her. Don't like Few Dorothy either. Have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Okay. And Petra. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. 
Okay. Hunter's Boon. Crit. I like it. Uh, and then what about you? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Uh, also, you can see that she has the leftover experience from the prologue map. That's cool. All right. Uh, hello there? Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. <laughs> Even... Now, nothing to report. Even the, like, faceless guard has a good personality. I love that. Must be a new student. Who are you? What's behind me? Uh, ooh, okay. Looks like the way to go. Can I talk to this guy? You can't go past here. All right. No problem. Huh? Oh, and they said, was it X? No. Y is the run button. There we go. We human now. Uh, hello. Oh, this is a Golden Deer homeroom. Golden Deer house is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Okay. Uh, oh, there's another. Okay, so these guys are, you don't have business here yet. So these guys block different areas of the monastery. Okay, look at all the cats. Okay. So it looks like there's homeroom, there's three homerooms here, all of them. Uh, Listerine is the young guy. I, I, <laughs> I need her to say her name so I can like hear it in my head and not try to read it. Cause I'm just gonna say Listerine or like lithograph or something. I like Annette's positive attitude. Okay, there's Claude. Uh, and it looks like Dimitri is down there. Yeah, all right. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Uh, yes. All right. Let's we'll just start from the bottom and go up. Leone. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Okay, and because this is the house we're going with, um, I am actually going to go over the growths of these characters while we're here. She has zero weaknesses. She has rivalry. If a male ally is adjacent, unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. Ooh, okay. She has no crest. Commoner, um, and he has strengths is horse, bow, and lance with no weaknesses. Uh, oh, and swap display. Oh, hey, that's cool. Uh, base stats, nine speed, nine strength. Low on res, seven defense. Eight decks, okay. Growth-wise, she has a 40 HP, 40 strength, 20 magic, so not gonna be great in the magic department. Um, 55 decks, 60 speed, I like both of that. Uh, 40 luck, 40 defense, ooh, that's not bad. 15 res, based on your base res, makes sense. But, and then also 40 charm. Without 40 defense? Okay, I like it, I like it. Hilda. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Okay, uh, her defining ability is advocate. Adjacent male allies deal three extra damage during combat. Okay. Uh, her strength, she, has, she likes lances and axes. Not a fan of magic or of 
authority, whatever that really does. I'm not entirely sure. No, not that. Uh, oh, I can't, like, inspect things, so we can't see what her crest does here, seemingly. But she does have base 10 strength, which is nice. Base 8 speed. Uh, her dex, her skill is kind of on the low side. Okay, growth-wise, uh, Hilda. Okay, so she has 50 HP, 45 strength ain't bad, 25 magic. Yeah, I mean, it even says magic is one of her weaknesses. 30 dex, oh boy. Okay, it's gonna be hard for her to hit things. Um, 50 speed, 35, 50 speed's real nice. 35 luck, 35 defense, 20 res, 50 charm. Okay, so she seems like she's gonna be your standard, like, berserker type, growth-wise. Um, she's gonna have some good strength, some good speed. And that's kind of it. Oh god, my eyes. Mm. Okay, sorry, there was an eyelash on my eye. Uh, Marianne, I'm really interested in her. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. Oh? She doesn't interact much with other students. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I love her design. Uh, defining abilities, animal friend. Unit recovers up to 20% of max HP at the start of each turn when adjacent to a cavalry or flying ally. Okay. She's good at swords, tones, um, and then cavalry and flying. Not good at the fist weapons or being an armor knight. Okay. Bases. She's got good magic. Okay, so she's magic based from the get go. Seven speed. All right. Uh, eight res. Seven charm. Uh, growth wise. Where. Okay, Marianne. She has 35 HP. Wow, very low. 20 strength. <laughs> yeah. 50 magic though, okay. 40 dex, 40 speed, uh, 35 luck, 15 defense, 45 res, and 40 charm. Okay, so she seems you're pretty de pretty good standard mage growths. Uh, all right. Depending on how much class growths add to that 20, I mean, I suppose you could try to do something physical, but okay, cool. Uh, Listerine. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. Lysithia. She's Matt. Oh, okay. She is. This is gonna be our like Donnie type character. Mastermind, double skill experience earned in battle. Okay. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Fair. All right. Uh, she also looks like a magic. Her strengths... She has the two tomes. I think one is dark and maybe light magic or, like, healing and non. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll learn more about that as time goes on. And good at authority, whatever that really does. Weaknesses, the weapon triangle, and armor knight. Okay. Uh, 11 magic to start with. 7 dex, 7 speed. There's kind of no defenses. Uh, Growth-wise, she... Oh my god. She has 20 HP growth, 15 strength growth, but she has 60 magic, 60 dex, and 50 speed. Alright then. I see you. You're gonna be a glass cannon character. Uh, on the magic side, anyways. Uh, the 15 luck, 10 defense, 25 res, 25 charm. Yeah. Glass cannon mage attacks. Got it. Conehead. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Okay. So he's good at swords, bows, authority. Uh, not good at flying. His watchful eye grants 20 hit. I like that. He doesn't have any crests. Uh, pretty balanced looking base stats. 8 strength, 5 magic. Looks like he can go both ways, maybe. We'll check his growths. 8 speed, okay. Ignatz. He has 35 HP, 35 strength, 30 magic. So yeah, he can, he can swap either way. Um, 
Either way, it doesn't look like he's gonna hit really hard unless you really luck out or put a lot of time into his damage, being 35 and 30, respectively. Uh, 50 dex and 50 speed, the also will at least be fast, should be pretty accurate. 55 luck, ooh, lucky boy, okay. 25 re uh, defense and 35 res, and then 25 on charm. He looks pretty interesting stat-wise. He looks like he could, you can make him into anything you want and it'll probably turn out pretty decent. So that's fun. All right. Raphael. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Oh, poor guy. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually, that's about it. <laughs> also, I love his little sprite over there. I, I'm pointing. I don't know where I'll be putting my uh, face cam, so I'm probably not helping things. His defining ability is Goody Basket. Chance to recover up to 10% of HP at the start of each turn. Triggered on Luck stat. Okay, his base 6 Luck. He's good at axes, fists, good at being an armor knight. Bad at bows. Interesting. Uh, whenever the house specializes in archery. Bad at some sort of magic and cavalry. His base 11 strength, base 7 defense. He's a tanky boy. Uh, growth wise, Raphael has 65 HP growth, highest HP growth in his house. 50 strength, also highest strength growth in his house. 15 magic, makes sense. 35 dex, okay. 15 speed, oh, a slow boy. Very slow, okay. Ooh, 35 luck, 45 defense. He is pretty much made to be an armor knight, it looks like. Uh, 10 res, 25 charm. Interesting. Okay. Lawrence, what you got? He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. With that hair? Also, how does that say Gloucester? There are so many letters in there that you're missing. Gloucester? All right. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Okay. Uh, Base-wise, he's very balanced, kind of like Ignatz. Um, defining ability, distinguished house unit deals two extra damage while in formation with a battalion. We'll have to learn more about that. Uh, he's good at lances, magic, horses, weak at hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay. The, them fisty weapons. Growth-wise, yeah, he's very balanced. 55 HP, 40 strength, 40 magic. 45 dex, 40 speed, 25 luck, 30 defense, 40 res, and 35 charm. It looks like he's really good, actually. Okay. I'll have some fun with his classes. Him and Ignaz, for sure. And then finally, Claude. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Okay, and we've already gone over his growths and whatnot. Okay. Cool. We can walk in here and, like, actually talk to people. I think spotted. Okay, interesting. So we can yeah, we can actually go in and talk to everyone. What do you think? You're that mercenary. Oh my god, there's so much to do. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. <laughs> This might just be one long video. I'm sure a lot of you, there's a lot of you that wouldn't complain about that. Uh, I feel like, well, maybe we should talk to all the homerooms in one big swoop. So let's go talk to Dimitri first. Oh, I like Dedu's calm attitude. I, I do too. I love Dedu. Felix is a lone wolf. I like Felix a lot too. Oh. We passed him. Okay. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathid, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Did you say Blathid? So there's like a TH sound in there? Interesting. What is the language that is? It's like Gaelic? 
His Gaelic makes weird sounds. Uh, okay. Of course, at the academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Yes. All right, starting from the bottom, Ingrid. Ingrid because again, this is not our house. Daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. Okay, she's not, uh, or this is not our house, so we're not gonna go over their growths unless we decide to take them from his house. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. <laughs> okay, and her divine ability, Lady Knight, Prince plus three might and plus five hit with gambits. That's cool. Okay. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh. Perseverance use rally to grant... Oh, she's a strength rally. Ooh. It says to an ally, though. So he's single ally rally. Mercedes. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Okay, and she has lived to serve. Okay, I'm, that's a hero's skill. Well, actually... That's in, it was in Fates and then Heroes, but, okay, cool. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Philanderer, if a female ally is adjacent, you know, deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. So him and, uh, oh, I don't remember which one of the, was it Leone? No. Hilda, I think, had that skill that would, like, pair if you put both of them next to each other. Or maybe it was someone we checked uh, that was in... The Black Eagles. I don't remember. Okay. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Does he? Uh, does he have a lot of hope? Lockpick. Ooh. Okay. Well, I I need to know what his luck stat is. Is he? Ultimate luck. Blue Lions, Ash, 40 luck. That's pretty high luck compared to most people, so like, the Nagito is, is very alive. <laughs> Felix. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. So he's a, oh. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Okay. Lone Wolf unit deals five extra damage when no battalion is assigned or when battalion's endurance is zero. Interesting. Okay. Dadu! Dadu was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. I love him so much. If unit takes no action except wait, grants defense plus four for one turn. Ooh, okay, he's a point choker. I love that. Good shit. And finally, Dimitri. Me? Oh, um, please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Okay, okay, no big deal, no big deal. I appreciate your effort. Uh, you're responsible, uh, okay. So, yeah, we're done. Quest complete. 
Oh, I don't have to go actually turn it in. It was just like, oh, okay. It says, I suppose we should return to Rhea. But we just immediately got our stuff. Uh, continue exploring. So, before we do that, we are going to look around, finish our exploration in the home room of the Black Eagles. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. It's like, his hair is like red in the model and brown in the portrait. It's throwing me off. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Okay. All right, so everyone spot it. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. God, this guy's face annoys me. <laughs> the name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Yeesh, Linhard. <laughs> get into the academy with those manners. So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Okay. Okay, Linhard. Is it true that you saved the name's Lin Oh, and so because they're next to you. Okay. Petra and Hubert. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I really like Hubert. I heard you came to the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodland terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Oh, okay. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's head over here. Ah, what? I don't talk to strangers. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family. The Empire's foremost house. This was like a, a Y instead of a G sound. Iron. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Okay. Oh, uh, Ferdinand's smile makes me melt. Hubert's so cute. I love broody boys. Oh my god. Oh, she's alone. Okay. Talk to her. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Okay. So that's everyone in the Black Eagles talk to. Oh. Hey. Wait, there's someone over around the corner while we're all the way out here. Cat! Hello. What do you want? I am Yuritsa. Yuritsa. I teach here. Weapon instruction. These are the training grounds. Goodbye. Oh my god. Okay, you're unsettling. <laughs> huh. Hello. Alright. Let's go check on Blue Lion. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. All right. Hey, hey. Sylvain. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved His Highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. All right. Why with Ash? We're gonna say is Dedu. We save him for last. That's my man's. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend, I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. I love them. Yeah. They're great. Ah. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Oh. 
Is that a bet? Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, was Felix, Ingrid, and Sylvain are old friends. Yes, thank you for that fact. Um, everyone else is like gossipy and observation. And he's just yes. All right. Hello. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Oh, I love it. All right. And finally. That's so. <laughs> what do you think? Our class that we're taking on first. How you doing, Lawrence? Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. <laughs> oh, say, oh, you should just let him die. It's fine. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> you will want to remember it. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. Raphael and Leonie will talk to last because Raphael. Oh, but Hilda. I... So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are yeah. you? Yeah, we'll talk to Raphael last. Oh, you are. It's such an honor to meet you, Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. What do you think? <laughs> Listerine, right? It's like this. Uh, that's the noble lady Hilda, isn't it? Why are you so friendly? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is Marianne Van Edmond. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay, I'm really interested in knowing more about Marianne. I didn't know she was like a like never talking character. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> I suppose I should return to Rhea. Uh, oh, so it detected that I talked to everyone. Oh, I love that. Okay. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. It's like, I, I love that, like, it's such a new thing, like, you get everyone, well, not everyone, everyone, but, like, the main cast you get to see and talk to and experience for yourself. That's so cool. That's so cool. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Which house will I choose? You guys chose, and now it's locked in. I thought it was locked in at the start of this episode. No, now it's locked in. I guess the start of the episode, you could add, you could get some brownie points in with, uh, with the person that you plan on choosing. But... The Leicester Alliance Golden Deer House, a house for students from the Leicester Alliance. As per regional tradition, many are skilled archers. So you have chosen the Golden Deer led by Claude, correct? Yes. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Vodland's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Oh, you're so tiny. That's Seteth's sister. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? 
This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. <laughs> I was like, you two are so polar opposites. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Okay. Gotta prep for a battle. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> wow. All right, Conehead. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. No, it's literally everyone else but you. <laughs> Honestly. <Whoops. laughs> now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. I guess I don't mind. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. Yeah, probably. Look at you, man. You, you fucking actual barrel chested. I doubt that. Apparently, our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. Uh, he's not that well known. Or is like you're exaggerating a bit. Uh, let, let's go with the first one. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. <laughs> captain Geralt deserves nothing but respect. Okay, jeez. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. I mean, you're right. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Speaking truth Don't here, you Hilda. Agree, Marianne. Huh? Oh, um, yes. I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. <laughs> How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. I kind of just want the voice line, I'll get the meat. Just for any context. Just forever. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. If there's no meat involved, it's not a party. <laughs> that too, that's a good ass voice line too. There's no meat involved, it's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's like, why is it telling me about cavalries and flyers? Like, what? So there's, like, some battle tips in the loading screens. Okay. Uh, they do have Kanto. I didn't know about that. They brought Kanto back. I love Kanto. Mount and dismount commands. Oh, yeah, yeah, mount and dismount has, uh, made a return as well, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, uh, I feel like, okay, there's not a save yet. A new place to explore in the monastery. 
received a thousand gold from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Okay. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Oh, I haven't saved, dude. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? Like, yes. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Uh, do what you can to find out. There's no need to look into it. Do it, do what you can. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then. Please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! Oh boy. <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. I love this guy. He's, he's a big old nerd. Hmm. What could this line <laughs> yes. here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. <gasps> Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. I love him. He's great. And you can skip that specifically. Okay, there was an auto save. You can also select the protagonist officer's academy uniform in the journal. Professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Uh, the monastery schedule features different events on different days. Each week you will have one day off. When you may choose an activity from the list, your only option at first will be explore. Select the calendar with the directional buttons to view the schedule. Menu. Okay. Before we dig too deep into this, that's where we're gonna call this. Just a huge exploration chapter, talking to everyone, picking our house, learning about crests, kind of. Uh, our crest is apparently one that's not been seen before. Lots of shit. Man. Okay. I look forward to looking into even more of this next time, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We uh we picked our house. We can we can finally get into that that golden deer life. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.